Hi everyone, it's Jenny from Art with Jenny K. I am here tonight with a really special guest who's gonna be sitting right here in just a minute. And we are going to be showing you how you can make a rainbow fish with a water bottle and tissue paper. This is a great project because, uh, especially for kinder and first graders, because Earth Day is coming up in April. So I wanna go ahead and show you how to do this project. I have some books to show you and we're gonna show you the whole process. So let me bring on my little guest <laughs> and I'll let her introduce herself. Hi, my name is Presley. And how old are you? Six and three quarters. Six and three quarters. Okay. Presley's my daughter, and this week we were in her class. I went in as a volunteer, and we made these water bottle fish. Whoops, I think I have that guy upside down with her class. So tonight we're gonna to show you how to do this so that if for Earth Day you wanna talk about reusing materials, um, specifically water bottles, because we know that we have those in abundance. Also, I'm gonna talk about the two books that we used to go along with this project. I read one of the books to the children while they were working, and then when they were finished, I read them the other book. So first, you're gonna wanna get a water bottle. This is the easy part. But we actually found that the ones that are straighter or harder, you want ones that look like this that have the little curve in them. So the first thing you do, it's gonna be a little loud, is you crunch it and twist it. Okay, so what you're doing is you're shaping the fish like that. All right, so I have some that are kind of already shaped like this. Now, Pressy, can you tell them what you're going to do next? So what you want to do is like get this, this the glue. Yep, and she's a lefty, so I'm going to hold it for her. Show them how, what you're going to do. Start up here. And then you're going to put some here like this. And then you want to put like. So let's show them what kind of paper is this. This is tissue paper, nice and thin. You can have the kids cut it, you can have the kids tear it, or you can get it already made in squares. Let me see that because they can't see down there. So let's hold up. Okay, so here's the thing. You stick it on there, but then you have all these little edges sticking up. So Presley, what do we do after we stick it so, down? Then get it like this, make it all the little edges down. And the big fancy word for this is called decoupage. So you're gonna put the glue, oh. okay, so you're gonna take the, the glue, and I'm don't worry, I'm not gonna do the whole bottle here tonight, I'm just showing you, because these are the little things that I've learned over the years that are helpful. So what I do is I always have the students start at the opening, which is becomes the mouth of the fish, and they put the glue on the bottle, and then go ahead, Presley, and let's grab a blue, and let's show them how we're gonna overlap it just a little bit. Like this. And then what happens, let me show them what happens when the blue and the yellow overlap. It turns green. It turns green. So you can decide, go ahead, Presley, and put some more glue on there, and do another one while I talk about the books. Okay. You got it? Yep. Um, you can pick certain colors. So like if you wanted kids to sort of have the discovery of seeing new colors, you could give them the primaries. You can also give them just a rainbow of color like we did here. The book that I read to the students is called The Rainbow Fish, and you probably know this book. Essentially, it's about a fish with shiny scales and he can either keep all his shiny scales and be all alone without any friends because he won't share, or he can share his scales and then he can have lots of friends because um, he's shared all his shiny scales with others. So it's a really sweet message of sharing and being good to friends and being kind, but the name of the fish is the rainbow fish. So since we're making a rainbow fish, it's a perfect story. It goes along perfectly with it. We did this in my daughter's classroom this week because their unit is all on marine life. Um, and so we ended with this book. Let me see if you can see it. The Adventures of the Plastic Bottle. This turned out to be absolutely excellent because not only were we talking about reusing a plastic bottle, but we were able to, at the very beginning, it's, it talks about how 
the it's all written from the perspective of the crude oil which then becomes um, the water bottle and then it changes forms and so we were able to talk not only about the ocean but under the ocean because of the oil coming from under the ocean then turning into the water bottle and then the things that it becomes later so this was the book we finished with and you can see what presley is doing here she's gluing them all down now you see that we have these little bottles with the with the sticks in them but I wanted to show you a sort of a way you could do that if you don't have those. That's really super simple. Dun, 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 dun. Glue bottle and a paintbrush. All you have to do, because it is important that you paint on the glue, so all you have to do is stick the brush in, paint it on, and then that's gonna give you a nice even layer. And then in order to get it to all stick down like this guy, you have to put the glue on the outside. Now, in the adult world, we'd use something like Mod Podge, but that's kind of um, has a strong smell and it's a bit expensive. So all we really need to do is just use glue. And you can see that's all we did with this was Elmer's glue and it's sticking down perfectly. It also, you can keep going. Did I take your stuff? No, go ahead. Keep doing a few more and then we'll show them the eyes. So you can see here how we got in all the creases because it works so nicely and of course, we, I was in her class for an hour, so we were a little bit limited, but I've done this before with first graders where we put glitter around the edge, which simply by sticking in glue and then glitter, we've done you know things on the top. You could really do this in all kinds of different ways, but it's a great for Earth Day because you can talk about reusing something really common that your students see everywhere and if you pair it with the books they'll be thinking about where plastic come from comes from and what happens to it when it goes into the recycling bin what it may turn into later and it's really interesting what it turns into at the end of the book and it's pretty unexpected it's it's not something you would typically think a water bottle would turn into okay so presley is still gluing and we did this, I had an hour with the students. Um, I would say it took us about 45 minutes to get finished. So after, let's just pretend like Presley has covered the whole bottle. After you're done, then there's little googly eyes. Can you see them in there? And then all we'll do, Presley, you can go ahead and just put two on there even though it's not done. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. And then we got one last thing and then we'll be all done. So go ahead and pick two colors. And it's really fun, these are all different colors. And because it's a rainbow fish, it really allows students to pick, what, pick any colors. They don't have to get caught up in realistic colors. Okay, and then hold that for them to see. Can they see it? There we go. And then let's show you the fins. So this is foam that has a sticky back on it. And then what I did was I just pulled it down partially and I'm noticing I don't have scissors here. That's okay. <laughs> so I pulled it down partially and then I just snipped it off, but here I'll just tear it. And then you can just put it on the side and it'll stick right on there like that. And the kids can stick these however they want. Presley put hers here the other day. All right, guys, any questions, let us know. Can you say bye? Bye. Can you say in Spanish? Adios. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Have a great day.